fun with Mr. Future knew exactly what I wanted to hear and delivered that well. This is a very interesting animation from Disney, uh, released originally in 1982, directed by Daryl Van Kitters. And excitingly, we have Vincent Price very briefly voicing the mad scientist, and we have Phil Proctor as Mr. Future. And we basically have this robot giving us a sneak glimpse into what the future holds. So this is what the future was envisioned as in 1982. And to be honest, they're not completely wrong. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the things that this animatronic head says that we will experience in the future. But I will say that they did predict the post-pandemic trend of working from home and no longer having to work in the same room as your boss, which is scary. Um, some of the things that they predict are definitely far-fetched and not possible, such as having a robot that carries your school lunch. Some of the things they predict revolve around how we use personal computers, as they call them, um, PCs, of course, and certain advances, advances in technology that make the working day easier, that make it easier to be creative, involvements we have with television, and how that becomes more interactive. So actually, Disney did predict quite a few things that were, if not 100% correct, that have definitely become relatively true. Some of the things have yet to become true, but maybe, you know, they didn't say when in the future. So maybe at some point in the future, we will still see the other things. This is very well presented. We have a mix of live action clips to illustrate what's being narrated and uh, animated sequences. And I thought it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I loved the, the unpredictability aspect of not knowing quite what they would predict for the future next. I love the shock factor of some of the things genuinely becoming a reality. Sure, they're not that far-fetched with, you know, how personal computers became something that really have become our lifeblood. Well, having said that, PCs themselves are not so much our lifeblood these days, but what they progressed into with laptops and tablets and how technology has evolved absolutely hit the nail on the head. The animatronic head is quite creepy, but in a way that works well because it feels more futuristic and the future is about the unknown and that is definitely what we get here with some of the elements, some of the things I think they predicted very well. I would love, absolutely love for them to do this again. I would love for them to be a fun with Mr. Future part two. I'm assuming there wasn't a part two. If there was, I will do my best to find it, but I'd love for Disney to do this now and predict what the future will be like in however many years, let's say 20 years when I'm 50 years old. I'd love to see what predictions they come up with. Fun with Mr. Future is exactly that. It's a lot of fun. We have a good look at what the future could be and I'd love to know what the reception was like at the time. If you remember watching this at the time, this predates me by 10 years, so I wasn't alive. But if you remember watching this at the time, or even shortly after, did it seem that far-fetched? Did it seem that ludicrous? Or did those things actually seem like they could be possible? Because now, looking at it, everything seems possible. There are very few things. Like if somebody said to me, in 20 years' time, they'll be flying cars, I'd believe them. I think it's, you know, anything is possible. If you can make a plane fly, then you could probably make a car fly. I don't think it would be a very practical thing. I think it would cause more problems than it would solve, but I don't think it's impossible. Fun with Mr. Future is a lot of fun. If you like quirky animations and just fun shorts in general, Fun with Mr. Future is definitely one to watch.